This video has been incredibly requested and it's so long I don't do a tutorial. So I'm very happy to do this one because you guys are struggling a lot with editing professionally as a beginner because I've been there, so I was in the same situation like you. And the thing with Adobe, for example, I use it religiously for 14 years, is that you have to invest a lot of time. And many times maybe you just want to take good photos and edit professionally without having to invest that much time, at least at the beginning, because it takes time, guys, to learn everything you have to learn. So today I'm gonna show you the quickest and easiest way to edit with one of the softwares I use for many years, and that's Luminar Neo. And I can finally say I'm a sponsor, and I'm very happy for that because I've been using Luminar since it was like Luminar 4, I think. Luminar 4, Luminar AI, and now Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo, because it has so many AI tools, is gonna allow you to edit super easy and professionally in seconds, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in a bit. But I personally use it as a plugin because you can use it as a plugin for Photoshop or for Lightroom. So I particularly use it for Lightroom and I use it for every single portrait work because I love the features. And I'm gonna show you basically a few of my professional portraits to show you the features I love the most and the ones I use every single day. And then I'm gonna show you as well some features with landscape photography just to show you a few more tools and things you can do within the software. And I'm gonna edit from Lightroom to show you how I personally do it so you're gonna be able to learn a lot of tricks today, but then I'm gonna show you as well how you can do everything just with Luminar Neo, that's it. It's the only software you have to own if you want to edit quick and make things simple, but also when you grow, you can make it as complex as you want. So let's go to it. I'm gonna start with portrait photography. So this is one of the portraits. So what I would do first, is basically apply one of my presets because I have my own presets and what I do is apply the color grading in Lightroom. You don't need to do this. As I said, I'm gonna show you later in Luminar Neo how you can do it because Luminar Neo comes with presets, so that's great, I'll show you later. But I'm gonna apply my style, which is this one. I love this one for outdoors, Cinematic by Laura BC. And it's very blue, which I love. I love moodiness and blues. So what I'm gonna do is put more vibrance and I'm gonna make it more saturated because I like the orange to pop out and that's it. I'm not going to touch anything else because I want to retouch it in Luminar Neo for you to see the features. So right click here, edit in Luminar Neo. Okay, so you have the picture here. You have so many presets here on the right. I'm not going to go through that because I already applied my own in Lightroom, but you wouldn't apply anything in Lightroom or you don't have Adobe at all. What you can do is apply the presets you have here already installed. So I'm gonna go to edit and I can see here right away like it's a bit dark, the picture. So I'm gonna brighten it. I'm gonna go here to develop. This is like the same sliders as Lightroom and even many more, I'll show you. So I'm gonna go to exposure and I'm gonna lift the light a little bit. There you go. And because of the hat, you can see like there is a bit of shadow in his eyes. So I want to brighten that a little bit. So the good thing about Luminar Neo is that you have an incredible portrait section here and you can do so many incredible things and I'm gonna show you now. So you go to face without masking anything. That's why it's so easy and quick. You're just gonna bright here the face as much as you like, you see? It detects by AI the face and it's gonna leave the shadows. So I'm gonna leave it there more or less in 40. Then you have more features, but I will show you later. I'm gonna go with eyes. And this is incredible for models and for artists I shoot with. I always use these sliders because for portrait, they are incredible and I don't have to mask anything. So I'm gonna go here to Eye Enhancer. I'm gonna zoom in for you to see a bit more. I'm gonna go to Eye Enhancer and you see how the eyes pop out even more. So I'm gonna show you the before of the eyes and the face and after. And all of this is without masking or doing anything. So years ago, before owning Luminar, what I used to do is open in Photoshop the portrait, select the eyes, brighten them, select the face, brighten it. It was a whole process and very long. So when I became a professional photographer, I don't have time to do all of that in Photoshop because I have a lot of work and I cannot keep up with that. So the only reason I bought Luminar 4 back in the days was for this feature. For me, it was worth the money right away. But now, obviously, through the years, now Luminar Neo, it works like Photoshop, basically, because you can work with layers. This is the main difference between Luminar AI and Luminar Neo. So you go to edit, I'll show you here. These are all the adjustments you did. So it's like history. 
in Photoshop, for example. But the thing with Photoshop, with the history, if you go back, for example, because you messed up in one step, you're gonna remove the other steps you've made. But with Luminar Neo, you don't have to do that because you can remove some steps you didn't like or readjust them. You cannot do that with Photoshop. So this is the main feature Luminar Neo has that I love. You can always come back. And I don't know how many times it happened to you when you edit that you do something and then you look at the photo again and you are like, I don't like it anymore. Why the hell I did this? So with Photoshop, you will have to go backwards in the history and you're gonna ruin all the steps you did to go back till that point. And here, no. So I think this is very good. So let's go to tools again. I mean, this would be it, but I'm gonna show you another feature as well I love, which is Relight. If you go to Relight, you can basically brighten the model or brighten the background. It masks everything by itself. So I'm gonna show you brightness near. You can see here, like it brightens just the model. I don't like to do this. If I do it, I do it a little bit. So maybe like that. And if I go brightness far, I can make it more moody. You see, and it's darker. And I can always readjust the mask, but by AI, it does it automatically. So this is another great tool it has. But that's it, this would be edited already. I applied my preset in Lightroom, and then here I adjusted the face, I adjusted everything I wanted. This is the before, before Luminar, and after Luminar. And you just had to go through some sliders, you didn't have to mask anything, it was super quick. But now, because I saw you one with preset, using preset in Lightroom, and you are like, Laura, I don't have Adobe, I just want Luminar, and I wanna see the presets. So let's edit this one for, I love this photo by the way. It's super cool, it's very urban as well. I'm not gonna touch anything in Lightroom. I'm just gonna open it with Luminar Neo. But remember that Luminar Neo works like a standalone software. I'm opening it from here for the sake of the tutorial, but you can have Luminar Neo and import your catalog and everything like it works with Lightroom. So here is the picture, okay? So you have so many presets here, landscape, mother nature, portrait, macro, Cinematic, who doesn't love cinematic nowadays? I love cinematic. So I'm gonna go to urban style because it's a urban looking photo. I'm gonna go here. So I'm gonna apply, I think this one would look cool, Toronto. This one looks very nice. And it's the perfect example because I do have to fix few things in the face that you're gonna see now. So I love this one because it gives like blue tones. So the good thing about the presets is if you go to edit, once you apply the preset, you go to edits and you can see all the edits here that the preset adjusted. So you can go one by one to deconstruct the edits and to even hide them, remove them or remove the opacity and modify everything. So you can personalize every preset, but at least you have a starting point. But anyway, I'm gonna come back to the tools. I'm gonna go to develop. I'm gonna give brightness here. This is way better already. But I had to correct the face. It's a bit dark still. So I'm gonna go again to the portrait section and I'm gonna give light just to the face. There you go. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see better. There you go. I'm gonna lead more the face. Maybe there, 45. This is the before and the after. And without masking anything, by AI is already lit. This is what I love about Luminar, because as a portrait photographer, you can understand it makes my life way easier. So what I'm gonna do here as well, the eyes, I'm gonna do the same eye enhancer a little bit, so it's a bit brighter, the iris. And then what I'm gonna show you here is something that I do with Photoshop many times, but you can do it in Luminar as well. So this is the proof that you can use just Luminar Neo for portrait photography. So the male model has some marks in the skin, but you can clone from here. So all you have to do is press Option key and sample next to the mark. I'm gonna put the size lower and the softness a bit lower. And the strength is the opacity. I'm gonna put a bit lower. Okay, so I'm gonna click here, sample it and remove it. Same with the rest of the marks. Remove it. Sample here. Sample always very close to the spot or whatever you want to remove. So it's identical when you clone it. Then here as well, there is another mark. And there you go. I'm gonna leave it like that for now because I want to remove the redness of the skin. This is something I do a lot as well. I'll show you how. So you see here the dark circle underneath the eye. I always retouch this, not like crazy because otherwise it looks fake and artificial and very flat. Never ever do edits because it looks terrible. So what I'm gonna do here is soften it. So I'm gonna go with the same tool, clone, 
What I'm gonna do is put the strength way lower, so it's way less obvious, more softness, and the size, tiny bit more maybe. There you go. So same thing, I'm gonna sample very close in this area because it's lighter, and then I'm gonna paint on top. So I sample there, and with low strength and opacity, I paint on top, and that's way better already. I'm gonna do it again, sample, because it's with low opacity, it's fine to do it a couple of times and do it again. There you go. Before and after. So you can see here, like you can do everything with Luminar Neo and you can see still here a little bit of darkness. That's fine, leave it so it's more natural. What you want to do is to soften features, not to change them completely. So this would be it and I'm gonna remove the redness. So I'm gonna go here to color and you go to this section, HSL section and you select saturation. Why? Because I just want to remove the saturation of the red, to remove this redness he has in the skin. I don't want to remove the saturation of the whole picture, so this is king, to be able to select particular colors. So I'm gonna remove the red a little bit. I'm gonna do it a lot for you to see. You see it's too much, but the red disappeared, this redness he had. But I'm gonna put it maybe minus 25, it's fine. Reduce the orange a tiny bit. That's perfect. And this would be the picture edited. So I'm gonna show you the before, the raw file, no edits anywhere, and just with Luminar, quite quick, showing you everything, how to edit the skin and everything. That's it, super bright, with a preset already that comes with Luminar, you don't have to buy it separately, and you have an incredible photo already edited, and you don't have to do anything else. And now I'm gonna show you another tool I use religiously with every single portrait, and I use it with all my portrait photography work and you will know why I'm more if you shoot in a studio. This is gonna be very useful for you. So I'm gonna use myself, one of my self portraits, because I'm gonna show you how to retouch the skin, how we see it is with Luminar. And I didn't wanna put a client here and expose my client's skin in this video. So I'm gonna expose mine, which is not the best, but it's good for you to see what this software does. So I'm gonna open this self portrait. I'm gonna apply my preset here. Cinematic by Laura VC. I'm gonna give more exposure, tiny bit. Just like that. So that would be with the preset before and after. I really like this matte finished in the studio pictures. So now I'm gonna edit with Luminar. I go to edit, I'm gonna zoom in and expose myself and show you how terrible my skin looks like sometimes. <laughs> and more with the flash hitting my skin or the continuous light, it's normal. Everything gets more accentuated or the defects. That's why you have to make sure you have a good editor because when you are working with models, they're not gonna be happy if you give them the photo with the skin looking rough. So here you can see all my defects here. With one slider by AI, it's gonna detect the skin and make it softer. So if you go here, again portrait, you go to skin and here is the two sliders I use the most with the studio photography. So in amount, it's gonna soften the skin. I'm gonna do it a lot for you to see. So this is the before. Look at the skin, it's quite rough. And the after is very silky. Again, don't overdo it because we don't want wax dolls <laughs> as a model. So don't overdo it. But I would do it in women, I would do it like 50, no more than 50. And in male models, don't do it more than 30 because male models, naturally, they have the skin more rough. So don't overdo it because it looks terrible. And with women, don't overdo it neither. So I would do just 50 to soften the skin. And then what I'm gonna do to show you is the shine removal. So with the studio photography, it's very normal with the reflector, like we have shiny parts in our face. I have oily skin and many models have oily skin. And then the flash reflects on it and it looks terrible. Even if you don't have oily skin, sometimes it happens that with the reflector, it's too harsh the lighting. So I'm gonna apply the shine removal a lot for you to see. The shine disappear. So this is the before. Look at the shininess of my cheek and my nose and after. It's crazy. It's super good. So that I use it with every single photo shoot I have because I shoot in a studio a lot. But again, don't overdo it. Why? Because you need a little bit of brightness to have depth in your face and your features. So again, I would never go over 40. So I'm gonna go less here. I'm gonna apply 30 on this one. You will be able to see with your photo what it needs. So this is the before and this is the after. And it's way more subtle, the edit, and it's not that artificial. 
but you don't have to mask anything or spend one hour with the picture because it's pointless when you have these sliders. What I would do now is with the clone tool, do the same as I did before. Remove the marks on my skin and soften the under eyes section. And that's it. I'm not gonna redo it because otherwise this video is gonna be too long, but you know how to do it already. Now we're gonna go with the landscape section for you to see how easy it is to retouch a landscape. So the first one would be this one. And by the way, I do have a video about this day, how I took these pictures in Spain. This is where I'm from, in Basque Country. And I think you're gonna love it. So go check it out because I think it's quite cool and I teach you some tips about landscape photography. So this one is from that blog. And I'm not gonna touch anything here. I'm gonna open Luminar Neo right away. Here it is, I'm gonna go to edit. I'm not gonna even touch the presets. You can experiment as much as you like. But I'm just gonna go to edit for you to see how quick it is to edit a landscape photo in Luminar. You go to this incredible tool, which is one of my favorite ones as well for landscape, Enhanced by AI. You go there, you just need a slider. That's it, one slider, that's everything. So you go to accent and look at what happened when you go here. By AI already fixed the photo. <laughs> so this is the before, before anything. And yes, with that slider, this is the after. That's it, you don't have to do anything else. Then you can play with lats and colors because you have built-in lats as well. You can do anything you want, but this is just to show you that with one slider, you can edit super quick professionally. And then here you have this, a sky enhancer. So look at the sky. I mean, the sky of this day was incredible. We were very lucky this day. And I'm gonna rise this. This is too much, obviously, but it's to show you. It's just the, the sky that was that day. But by AI, it detects it and it makes it darker and more dramatic. So it looks incredible. I'm gonna do it less. But that's it, that will be edited. And there is another feature you may know already because I do have a tutorial about Luminar 4, I think it is, on my channel showing you this. This is King in Luminar. You go to Sky. So it's a crime to remove the sky of this photo or change it because the sky is natural here and it's very nice. I would never remove it from this photo. But many times, you're a photographer, you understand this, you go somewhere and the sky is flat because there are no clouds or it's fully gray and it's very boring. And for landscape photography, we need good skies. So you can go here and you can select so many skies that are already built in Luminar. And then you can get more skies, buy them, or you can shoot your own and then import them. So that's crazy. But with the ones it brings, it's already enough. So I'm gonna choose this one, for example. And you have another sky <laughs> right away. I didn't touch anything. I didn't mask anything. And then you have so many tools here, like masking, sky orient orientation, mask refinement, scene relighting, reflection. But there are many tools here. But as you saw, this is the before and this is the after. I wouldn't put that sky, obviously, is to show you. But you can edit a landscape super quick. And then I'm gonna show you with another landscape something incredible with AI as well. With this photo, I mean, with this photo, I would apply my Moody Greens preset because I know it looks incredible already. Look at this. Or Highlands, which is very good as well. I built both of them for nature. But I'm not gonna apply anything, okay? I'm just gonna open it like it is. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna apply a preset for you to see. You have so many, so I don't know. I'm gonna go to Nature. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna apply this one, Micro World. See what happens. Okay, it's good enough. It accentuates the greens. This is the before and this is the after. Let's do this one. I'm gonna press Edit. I'm gonna give brightness here. And I like to remove my yellows from the greens so you make them more moody. I'm gonna go here to Color. And then here in this section, again, I'm gonna press saturation and then in greens, I'm gonna desaturate a bit and the yellow desaturate a bit. There you go. And the overall image, I'm gonna make it more contrasty. Okay, this is way better. And then, so I want to show you from this photo because I don't know if you noticed already, it's full of power lines. You see all these power lines here, all these cables? So they were very clever to include this because I don't know about you, but every time I take landscape photography, I find this. This photo is from one of my solo trips to Ecuador in South America, and there were power lines everywhere. So I'm gonna go here to erase, and the only thing you have to do is press here. You have two options, remove power lines or remove dust spots. Dust spots are those stains in the sensor you may have because we all get them. So when you have many or whatever, uh, you can just press here and they disappear. 
but I'm gonna remove the power lines and you will see how it works. There you go. <laughs> no power lines anymore. And look how accurate it is. You don't even see one. I'm gonna show you the before and the after, zoom in. This is the before and this is the after. Before, after. This is the before as well, before the preset and then with the preset and without the power lines. I already show you the main features, what I use it for but you can do whatever you want with Luminar Neo because you can work with layers. You can work like in Lightroom because you have all the tools over there as well. You have the AI tools, which are the main point about this video because with AI, even if you are a beginner, you're gonna be able to play with the sliders and retouch the picture amazingly because you saw how easy it is to edit a portrait now. You just have to play with the sliders for the skin and the features and that's it. So for example, I pay Adobe 10 pounds per month for 14 years. Calculate the money is 1,000 over a thousand pounds and counting because I'm still paying Adobe, I love it, and I'm still paying. But so many of you don't want to pay subscription, you always tell me this. Luminar Neo is literally the equivalent to 10, 11 months of Adobe subscription. But then, if you go to the link below and you put Laura BC at checkout, you have a 10% discount. <laughs> And by the way, if you are not sure about the software, you can grab a free trial through the link I'm gonna put. You can grab the free trial, you can try it for a week, you can see if you like it, you can see how it works in your laptop or computer as well, because it's a very powerful software, and see if you like it. And after trying, you can decide if you want to buy it or not. If you get it, again, you have to put Laura PC at checkout through the link below and you get a 10% discount. But this is the easiest way to edit, guys. Like, I don't know how to tell you this because, for example, with Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Photoshop, yes, I'm gonna have to do tutorials to teach you specific stuff. And for Luminar as well, but even if you're a beginner, you can just use the AI tools of Luminar and you don't need to learn further. Obviously, you have to, you must. <laughs> like, you should never do that, rely just on AI and that's it. You have to learn because it's good to learn. But till you start to learn properly, have more time for it, as a beginner, is the quickest and easiest way to edit. And it's a super affordable software, super powerful. I've been owning Adobe for many years and I still bought Luminar back in the days because I use it for portrait photography and for landscape. You guys, the ones who have it, and you send me your photos in Discord, because I do have a private community, by the way, <laughs> if you didn't know yet. So we set our own photos over there and you guys have Luminar and you love it. So I'm very confident you're gonna like it. Just check it out the free trial and then let me know if you like it or not. Comment below, you already have it, by the way, and how you are doing with it. And I will see you in the next one. Big love. Ciao.